What's going on everyone? TM24Plays here and today we're going to be playing a deck with only 5 drops. We're continuing our series. We're going to see if we can get a win here. Uh, you know, 4s weren't too bad. We got kind of lucky there, but 5s I think are going to be a little bit different. I think it's possible we got cards like Red Skull and maybe we copy Taskmaster. Maybe we use Captain Marvel to move to a lane where they couldn't play. And then we use, you know, a Red Skull or maybe a Gamora. I don't know. It's going to be tough, but we're going to try and get a win with a deck made only of five costs. Before we do that, though, please remember to subscribe and like the video. It really does help me out. But for now, let's get into some gameplay. All right, it's our first shot here with a deck made only of five costs. Hopefully, we get some luck with the, uh, the locations, but Warrior Falls, that's actually a pretty good one. We will take that. So we've got one location that we could potentially win. Now we just need some more luck. Doesn't matter what you hit. All of them are five costs, so I'll just have to pick a different one. Shuri's Lab. Okay. Not, um, not a terrible location there for us, but right now this is not looking, not looking too good to start. Again, we don't have anything that we can play until turn five so we're just kind of stuck waiting turn four comes out all right we've got red skull and we have taskmaster so that might be the route we're going and hey i see i see a, a potential here i think if we go red skull into warrior falls here and then maybe we taskmaster into shuri's lab and that gets it done for us or should we have red skull shuri's lab and then taskmaster warrior falls he's snapping either way He's dropping an armor down. All right. We're going to go for it. We're going into Shuri's lab here. Let's see if we can get this done. They armored up their Hulk. Smart decision. I mean, I'm not sure if we're going to get there. We might end up taking an L here, but we've got to go for it. They are taking their time. And they drop a Shang-Chi, and we're going to take a loss right here. <clears throat> Let's see what Taskmaster does, though, because he comes out. He does copy, and then he does get 30. So we did w end up winning Shuri's lab, but start with the defeat. Here we go. We are trying again with our deck made only of five drops. We've got magic, so we can extend the game. That's a good thing. Murder World will keep cards out of there until at least turn four. So that's positive as well. Plunder Castle. Okay. Maybe we end up throwing Captain Marvel down onto Plunder Castle. They bring a sunspot. That's fine for us. Location is filled. They're going to pass. I'm going to pass. Alright, let's see what we got. Turn four. Again, we have to pass. We just we don't have anything we can play. Turn five, we should play magic. Try and extend this game, get two more five drops out. We do have a devil dino, that seems pretty strong. They drop a typhoid Mary, that's fine for us. I mean we can take that typhoid head to head. We could also go claw and then try and maybe we go yeah maybe we go claw I like the idea of going magic though so we're gonna go magic we're gonna have two more turns to figure this out here so it is turn six now we have Gamora do we think they're gonna play into plunder castle maybe but is that our best option? I kind of like the Captain Marvel play. Let's see if she can get some something done for us. Infinite comes down. That's going to be tough. Final turn. We are way behind. We can. I don't see any world where we win this. So we're going to go ahead and retreat. And we're going to take another loss. I figured this was going to be a tough one. But gonna keep trying here to see if we can win a game with only five drops we got doc ock black panther and spider woman we are picking up a free card we pick up an ice man okay 
We're going to go ahead and drop that ice man and get a little bit of power down. The locations are fair game, so to pick something up, that is awesome. It hits our Black Panther. No big deal there for us. Oh, we get extra energy. Okay. Now we've got potential. How many cards? We could empty their hands. Does that help us? If they, As long as they play one card, we can empty their hand. Let's, let's try it. Let's go with the Doc Ock route. So we're going to Dr. Octopus here. And then the, the part that kind of sinks is we're going to have to pass two turns. Black Panther comes down. As does Blade. There goes Red Skull. Doc Ock. We aren't going to empty their hand because we're pulling into the same lane they played in. There's a Swarm and a Lady Sif. Lady Sif didn't discard anything, so their hand is empty. They are on the back foot. Oh, that is huge. That's huge. Now we've got a... Oh, we get the dub. We get the dub. Let's go. Let's go. It didn't take many games, but we finally win. Dr. Octopus coming through for us, and we got super lucky with that monster coming down. We'll take it, though. We finally get a dub with just five drops. We're going to see if we can get another dub. I mean, we got, we got lucky in our, our previous one with Doc Ock, so we're going to go for this again. So let's see if we can get this done. All right, we've got Gamora, Arrow, and Professor X. Okay. <sighs> of course, nothing we can do until turn five, unless we get some luck through these location. Ongoing effects are disabled here. That's awesome. We could go Red Skull there. That's 15 power. And then we have Devil Dino. We Okay. I see a world where we can win this. All right, what's that last location? Cards here are not revealed until the game ends. That's fine. We aren't too worried about that. <clears throat> Doc Ock was the hero of last game. He really came through for us. They're snapping right away. That scares me a little bit, but I I mean, honestly, I can see a world where we win this. So we're going to hold out. We are going to wait for now. They're playing into the middle lane. Electro comes down. They're going to be able to play multiple cards. That is really nice for them. The first card you play here is destroyed all right so we have to stay away from Vormir that's a little bit unfortunate turn five comes out it's time to go do we want to surprise them let's play devil dino onto the dark dimension I like that option they play there as well okay we pick up taskmaster not revealed until the end of the game. We're going to have to go Red Skull here. So we're going to go Red Skull into the middle. Let's see if we get this dub. I'm not super confident on this one. He plays a leader. Red Skull comes down. They play Magneto. And we get another dub. We get two in a row. Let's go. Let's go. Who would have thought? Five drops are winning. I mean, can, can we make it three in a row? Is that is that a possibility? This hand looks pretty strong, and we pick up magic. Oh, man, I like the way this looks. I like the way this looks. All right, we pick up an arrow as well. Colleen Wing comes out. There goes Morbius. That's fine. I don't know why they wouldn't have played Morbius first and then Colleen Wing. When you play a card here, return it to your hand. Okay. If we draw a Professor X, we can take that lane. Nakia comes down. He's going to be buffing his hand. I'm, I mean, Professor X here, Devil Dino here. That seems huge. He's snapping. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I could also go Claw here. And then Devil Dino somewhere else? Do I want to magic? Do we, do we magic this? I. It's tough. I don't know. I am not 100% sure. Do we magic this game? Let's see what they play. They're a discard deck. They got rid of their Morbius. If we if we make this one three in a row, I will be super surprised. All right, what are you doing, Michael? Come on, buddy. Oh, sorry. He's waiting on me. <laughs> sorry, Michael. That's my fault. He's going to go ahead and play into Luke's bar. He's playing Wong, but that's just going to get kicked back to his hand again. So I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. 
All right, we have magic now. Do we just... I think if we're going to magic, this is the lane that we magic. We want to take advantage of Luke's bar if we can. If not, may maybe we can play Claw here and win Luke's bar. Hellcow comes down. He's going to start discarding cards. I don't know what he's doing. I honestly don't know what he's doing unless he's counting on just like one big Hella at the end of the game. Oh, we picked up Professor X. Do we think he's going to continue to play on Luke's bar? I think we risk it. I think this is the one where he potentially doesn't play there. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, no. Oh, he goes first. It doesn't matter. Apocalypse gets discarded. And she's going to get sent back to his hand. And now we take that lane. We've got one lane now. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Okay, what would be better? Gamora's going to be 12 power. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... He'll be 15. He'll be 20 power here. Or we can go 15 here. Oh, man. Oh, man. We, what do we do? What do we do? I think we go... I think we're going to go for Atlantis. Let's see if we get three in a row. Atlantis, Devil Dino. We've got Luke's bar. I'm worried about a Hella. I really am. Please don't be Hella. It's Apocalypse. It's not enough. We get three in a row. Three in a row. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I I'm done. I'm done. I'm ending it. No more. We've won three games in a row with only five drops. That's huge. I, I think we've gotten a little bit lucky. Our opponents haven't always played perfectly, but we're going to take it. So um, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe and like it of course um we're gonna be doing another video of playing with a deck with only six drops so that's it for now until the next one let's have some fun